pray Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rechakadash, the bonus to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and blessings and salutations to the sister Akin. That's around the globe, laboring and pushing his word and all truth and sincerity, okay? <clears throat> all right, this is the brother Yah Rock, uh, Jim Miss Houston. And uh, I'm just going to go into some of the Psalms 94. I just hit on the, uh, some key points I want to make within the uh, you know, chapter. Uh, but overall, uh, the topic of this is pretty much dealing with Esau, man. You know, uh, the end of the wicked, man, and the Most High, Yah Yahweh, by Yahweh Shah, establishing the righteousness, man, you know. For his kingdom, all right, uh, the nation of Israel, man. Okay, so this is uh, Psalms 94 and 1. All right, it says, O Lord Yahweh, to whom vengeance belongeth, O Yahweh, to whom vengeance belongeth, show thyself, lift, lift up thyself, thou judge of the earth, render a reward to the proud, Lord. How long shall the wicked, how long shall the wicked triumph? Okay, right. This present age that we're in, man, you know, uh, the the wicked are at, at, at rule, man. Okay, how it says in Job 9 and 24, all right, the earth was given into the hands of the wicked, man. Okay, so this is their time to rule. This is their kingdom, okay? And the wicked, all right, is uh, the so-called white man, all right? Which are the Edomites, man? All right, starting with uh, the so-called elite. You know, being your Rothschilds. You know what I'm saying? All right, from the which are come from the tribe of Amalek, man. All right, those are our adversaries. All right, the adversaries are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man. Which are the children of Israel? Okay, so. This is their time, you know, to, uh, to, to rule, right? So, right. How long shall they triumph, man? You know, which we know is not going to be for long, man. Okay? Uh, right. And that's the, you know, the spirit, you know, that uh, those of us who, uh, you know, follow the will of the Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, you know, in sincerity, man, you know, we we hastening the day, man. All right, for the downfall of these uh, wicked, okay? Because this society, this age that we're living in, man, is it, it, you know, is uh, nothing but iniquity is 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 taking place throughout the earth, man. You know. And uh, real quick, this is uh, Habakkuk. Uh, this is gonna be Habakkuk one. This is Habakkuk 1 and verse, I'm going to start at 3. Habakkuk 1 and 3. Why doest thou show me iniquity and cause me to behold grievance? For spoiling and violence are before me, and there are that raise of strife and contention. Therefore, the law is slack, and judgment do it never go forth. Right? And what's that judgment that never going forth? Okay, it's the judgment or the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father, man. Okay? It says, For the wicked, and this is the reason why, for the wicked do it compass about the righteous. Therefore, wrong judgment proceeded. Okay? So, once again, scriptures, you know, going into how the wicked are, are a rule, man. You know? You know? The law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High Power are not established in this society, man. You know, being here uh, in Babylon, America, all right, the so-called white man has nothing to do with, with uh, following the Most High Power, man. Okay? Psalms uh, 50, I'll grab that. 
the same ones that claim to be God-fearing people, the same ones that declare the Bible being the law of the land, all right, the same ones, uh, you know, that say to be so-called quote-unquote Christians, all right, this is uh, Psalms 50 and 16. It says, but unto the wicked, the most I said, what has thou to do to declare my statutes? Or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? Right. You know, you go to court, what is one of the first things they make you do? Or one of the things they make you do in the courtroom, man? All right? They make you swear on the Bible, right? Which that in itself is going off. All right? We're not supposed to do that. All right, but just to show the hypocrisy of this devil, all right, or the wicked, right? They don't adhere to the, to the to this word, man, or to the to the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. They don't judge according to that, you know. Uh, this is uh, once again Psalms 50 and uh, 17. Seeing thou hatest instruction. Casting my words behind thee, right? <laughs> this this man hates instruction, man. Okay, C he cast the words of the Most High behind him, man. You know, just take a look around you, man. Okay, look how how this this place is ran, man. Totally contrary to the to the way that the Most High Power intended for us to live, man. You know, all right. You got uh, uh, homosexuality at a you know all time high. It's, the, it's the become the norm now. You know, it's become the norm for uh, kids, you know, in, in elementary, it, it, you know, as early as that stage to be taught uh, what transgenderism is, man. All right, to have the influence on your kids, you know, to turn on the TV, look at Sesame Street, and see a man in drag, man, telling them, that uh, boys can play with dolls and, and girls can can do what the, do what boys do, and you know what I'm saying the mass confusion, man. All right, that's pushed in this society, man. All right, that's just one of many examples, man. Okay, showing you that they cast the words of the Most High behind them, man. Disregard uh, uh, these laws, statutes, and commandments, man. You know. All right. So, going back to Psalms 94, hey, matter of fact, I'm going to go back in Habakkuk, all right, this is Habakkuk 1 and 6, it says, for lo, I raise up the Chaldeans, all right, Edom, okay, that bitter and hasty nation, which shall march through the bread of the land and to possess the dwelling places that are not theirs, <laughs> all right? So Esau, or uh, Edom, all right, they, they, they conquered, uh, took over other lands that are not theirs, man, all right? Going back to the earth was given unto the hands of the wicked, all right? You know, the scripture said that uh, Esau was, uh, was going to be given the fatness of the earth, you know? But showing you uh, how this nation, man, they, they, they foul, man, all right? They... They go over and, and, and take over that which is not theirs, man. Okay. It says, verse 7, they are terrible and dreadful. <laughs> They're terrible and dreadful, man. You know? It says, their judgment and their dignity shall proceed of themselves. All right. So, right, man. Uh, you know, going back to, uh, I think you can go into the Maccabees and read. When they uh want to say uh was Alexander or his four generals when they began to rule how the wickedness multiplied throughout throughout the earth, all right? Which are those are Edomites, man. Okay, uh, the wicked man. You know, the scriptures refer to them as the border of wickedness, bro. You know what I'm saying? So once again, how long were they trying? All right. You know. But we're going to uh, get the answer. Uh, so like, Psalms 94. 
It says, how long shall they utter and speak hard things? And all their workers of iniquity boast themselves. They break in pieces thy people, O Yahweh, and afflict thine heritage. Right. They break in pieces thy people. Who, who are the Lord's people? All right. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man. All right. The nation of Israel, all right. So this devil has afflicted uh, the Lord's people, okay, putting us in the uh, bondage, all right? The northern and the southern tribes, man, okay? Uh, splitting up the, uh, the the home of the uh, Israelite man and woman, man, and kids, man, you know? Uh, forcing his, his, his grievous laws and, and, you know, his ways upon us, man. Okay, forcing us to adhere to his, his quote unquote uh, way, of, his standards of living, man. All right, which are grievous, man. You know, by way of you know paying taxes on everything, you know, uh, taking money out of your 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 you know your wages, not paying you, uh, for, you know, according to how the scriptures. You know, uh, set up. You know, you know, putting men on child support. You know what I'm saying? Things of that nature, man. Okay. Uh, it says, right? They break and they break in pieces. Thy people, O Yahweh, and afflict thine heritage. All right. Uh, putting labeling us with by words and you know. You Africans, African Americans, you Negroes, you know, you Mexican, you know what I'm saying? Uh, cutting us, cutting us off from our heritage, man. All right, lying to us, man. You know, right? It says uh, they slay the widow and the stranger and murder the fatherless. Yet they say the Lord shall not see, neither shall the God of Jacob regarded. Right. So that's the mentality of, of, of these damn devils, man. You know, after all the wickedness they have done to the children of Israel, all right, they believe that they're going to get away with it, man. Okay. The God of Jacob will not regard it. Nah, man, the Most High has not forgotten, man. You know what I'm saying? All right. And uh, guess what? They're gonna get paid accordingly, man. Okay. The scriptures say that uh, the most I will not at all acquit the wicked. Okay. Um, shoot, this uh, shoot real quick. This is uh, Jeremiah 49 and 12. It says, For thus said the Lord, Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup that are surely drunken. All right, so, right, Israel, all right, the nation of Israel had drunken of the cup, all right, us going into captivity, all right. Um, it says, Have a surely drunken, but art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. Right, so, would they get away? All right. Would they not drink of the cup? You know what I'm saying? La. -a. Well. Well, they won't get away. You know. All right. They will drink of that cup. You know. It says, uh, "Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it." All right. You know. He that leadeth into captivity should go into captivity. Okay, he that kill it with the sword must be killed with the sword. Okay, and that's a uh, payback, man, and recompense. All right, you know, and that's exactly what's going to happen. They'll say, Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shah. Okay, so I'm going to go down here to uh, verse 14. All right, it says, Psalms 94 and 14. For the Lord will not. Let's see, like. 
This is For the Lord would not cast off his people Neither will he forsake his inheritance Right So who are the Lord's people once again? Israel, okay uh, Real quick Isaiah 14 and 1 Isaiah 14 and 1 For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob And will yet choose Israel And set them in their own land Alright So right You know He said the, uh, the Lord will yet choose Israel Alright And uh Will have mercy on Jacob And will yet choose Israel And set them in their own land And the stranger shall be joined with them they should cleave unto the house of Jacob But the strangers in this verse is talking about The Israelite foreigners Alright, that's scattered amongst the uh, heathen nations Okay, in this verse Alright, but right Showing you that the, the Most High Alright, is only dealing with uh, Israel, okay The scripture said that he is not going to forsake us Alright so, uh, The Most High is not a man that he shall lie Right But this is uh, Romans 9 uh, Alright, this is Romans 9 and, uh, I'm going to get straight to the point, man This is Romans 9 and 13 As it is written Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated Right So <laughs> And a lot of people get upset When they hear that, man But hey, that's you know, we reading out the scriptures, man. All right. You know, the Most High does hate. You know, He hate that uh, those that the, uh, do wickedness, right? You know, and who are the wicked, man? Esau, Edom, man. All right. But He said that uh, verse nine, uh, Romans nine and uh, thirteen, as it is written, Jacob have I loved and Esau have I hated. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with the Most High? I will forbid. Okay, right. You know. So, the Most High is only dealing with Israel. All right. You know, we was given a promise, man. Okay. And uh, back in Psalms ninety-four, it said, "For uh, for the Lord will not cast off His people, neither will He forsake His inheritance. But judgment shall return unto the righteous." But judgment shall return unto righteousness, and all the upright in heart shall follow it. Verse 16. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Right. Uh, this is uh second Ezra 16 and uh 50. All right, second Ezra 15 and 50. So shall righteousness hate iniquity when she decked herself and shall accuse her to her face. All right, so right, that's the uh, the men of the Lord, man, starting with the apostles and others of Great Millstone, man. Okay, rebuking this damn devil, man. All right, I said, uh, who will rise up for me uh, against the evildoers? Okay. And we seeing that right now, man. You know? Uh this is Wisdom of Solomon 5. Alright. Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him made no account of his labors right so those men that are uh, standing up in great boldness declaring the, uh, the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah before the face of our adversaries alright you know you, you witness to him out on the highways and byways man alright starting once again with the apostles and elders of uh, Great Millstone man okay you know Uh, 
So back in Psalms 90, uh, 94, 16, who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Unless the Lord had been my help, my soul had almost dwelt in silence. When I said, my foot slipped, thou mercy, O Lord, held me up. In the multitude of my thoughts, within my within me, thy comforts delight my soul. Shall a throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, which frameth mischief by Allah? They gather themselves together against the soul of the righteous and condemn it the innocent blood. Right. So, a uh, point I want to hit too, uh, where it says, verse 20, Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, uh, which framed with mischief by Allah? You know? And the answer to that is no, man. You know, Esau, all right, or the wicked, you know, their kingdom is going to be taken down, man. All right? Has to be taken down in order for the for our kingdom to be established, man. Okay? The kingdom of Israel will not coexist with the wicked still in authority, man. Or side by side, man. All right? You even have men amongst Israel that, you know, on a carnal level want to build the kingdom now, man. All right? Building Israelite communities and, you know, we can have, we can we can rule with the inside Esau's system. You know, that, <laughs> that can't happen, man. You know, so it said, Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, which frame it mischief by Allah? They gather themselves together against the soul of the righteous and condemn it the innocent blood. But the Lord is my defense and my power, he is the rock of my refuge, and he shall bring upon them their own iniquity and shall cut them off in their own wickedness. Yea. The Lord, our power, should cut them off. All right? And uh, this will be the last scripture. 2 Ezra 16 and 52. All right, it says, Forget a little, and iniquity shall be taken away out of the earth, and righteousness shall reign among you. Right. Yet a little, and iniquity shall be taken out uh, shall be taken away out of the earth, man. All right. So Esau, all right, uh, Edom, you know, the kingdom is going to be destroyed, man, and taken down, man. You know, the wicked will no longer be in authority, man. You know, uh, and he said, once that happens, uh, right, righteousness shall reign among you. All right. Right. statues and commandments of the most high power are going to be established man okay you know like it's saying uh second peter the third chapter man seek ye a new heaven and a new earth where you dwell in righteousness man okay so that's the time that we you know that we in you know we in the beginning stages of that man okay you know this this uh you know, this devil is not going to continue to rule forever, man. You know, as the scriptures say, all the wicked are going to be cut off, man. Okay? And the Most High is going to just establish his, uh, his reign, man. All right? You know? So, uh, that was uh, pretty much it. Um, but that, once again, I'm going to give all praises, glory, and honor. Go to your hour, by Shami Abushah, by Shami Khamadash. Devil honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone, peace and blessings and salutations to the hopefully elect. Shalom.